Hi, this is Satoshi Tsutsui.、Uh, I'm from Indiana University. And、uh, today I'm going to present a paper Whose Hand Is This? Personal Identification from Egocentric Hand Gestures. And this is a joint work with Yang Wei Fu from Fudan University and David Crandall from Indiana University. All right, we are interested in、uh, wearable camera or egocentric vision. These days, Due to the popularity of AR or VR devices,、uh, egocentric vision is becoming more and more important. In this paper, we ask a very simple question Can we identify a subject from egocentric videos of hand? The reason why we are interested in this question is because in egocentric vision, subjects are not visible, which means we can't use conventional vision based identification. However, there is an exception that hands often appear in these videos. Let's see some examples. I will play a video of a person performing a hand gesture. Next, I will also play two videos performing the same gesture, but the one is from the same person, the other is from a different person. Alright, which one do you think is from the same person? Well, the answer is the bottom one. We could also play the same game on the depth images. Let's see. Well, the answer is actually the same. I'm not sure if this was easy for you or not, but this paper asks the same task for computer vision systems. Okay, methodologies. So, the purpose was to investigate if this task is possible for computer vision, so, we built upon a very standard 3D convolutional neural network designed for video classification, and then try end to end subject classifier from the video clips. And not just simply trying an end to end classifier, we wanted to investigate what kind of information in the video is helpful to identify the subject. Therefore, we prepared five types of input. First one is just RGB, and second one is just a depth image. Then, we use this information to create the third modality of binary hand, which is just a binarized depth map. Which approximates the shapes of hand. Fourth one is the grayscale hand, which is just a grayscale image masked with the hand shape. Then finally, fifth one is that、uh, color images of hand. We experimented on ego gesture dataset that has 50 subjects. In order to avoid CNNs rely on the background, we trained on、uh, clips recorded indoor and then tested on outdoor clips. Alright, results. In the table, each row represents a modality that I explained in the last slide. For each modality, I also annotated what kind of information is contained in them. As you can see, the more information we add,、uh, the accuracy gradually increases up to 20%. This means that 2D shape, 3D shape, skin texture, and skin color, all this information. Has a unique contribution to identify the subjects. So far, we assume that all gestures are included in the training set, but we also experiment another split where we divided the seen gesture and unseen gestures. Our results indicate that there is an accuracy drop for unseen cases, but still it is possible to identify some subjects. In addition to these experiments, in the paper, We showed several more analyses and experiments. For example, we showed a case study to investigate which gesture is easy to identify the subject and which gesture is harder to identify. For another example, in order to interpret the prediction result, we analyzed the attention map of the CNNs. We also have some verification experiments and others. To see the details, please read our paper.